Hello everybody, this is Max with Haven Website Pro and today we're going to learn how to take a WordPress from an HTTP to HTTPS and these are some pretty easy instructions. I have a post here on Haven Website Pro actually where you could just start uh, following the steps and copying the code and this first step here you need to make your admin secure in your WP config file. So what you want to do is we're going to use this particular website MaximusMcCullough.com as our guinea pig Notice there's no SSL, there's no lock there. <clears throat> and we want to turn everything into HTTPS, so we have our little green lock up there. Okay, so we're going to log into the cPanel. Okay, click on File Manager. And whenever you click on File Manager, you're going to come to this section right here. You want to double click on that public underscore HTML. Okay, let that load up. I'm going to come back here and grab this code down here that we're going to be using. Oh, wrong post. This code right here. Define force SSL admin true. So we're going to go in here, and this is going to make your dashboard secure, okay, whenever you're logging in and stuff. So let's go back to that file manager, see if it's brought up our list of files. And there we go. What we want to do is come down here to W p config let's see here right there there you go and you want to click on this code editor and that pops up click edit okay the first thing you want to do is um hit control f like this and then paste that in there and see if it's uh see if you have that particular code in there because you don't want to put it in twice okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right here to the end of this uh, cache manager that I have you and it doesn't really matter where you put this okay but we're going to force the, it to be true alright now you can't see the bottom of this because I'm blocking out the um, user information to log into my database but uh, this is what you want to do. You want to make that force SSL admin true. We'll click save. Okay, so now your admin, where you log into your dashboard, that'll be secure. All right, so let's go back to the post once again and scroll down. You want to use relative URLs. We can see in this post right here, I had, this is actually just an image down here. This is a video from YouTube. But I just wanted to show you that this particular image is insecure. If we go over to the text view, do you see where it says source HTTP? Okay, now the uh, your surfers will get warnings on their browser saying that, you know, it's unsafe, you're calling it insecure content. And you would have to literally go back to every one of these posts and make that source file HTTPS. But what I'm going to show you is how to make that a relative URL. Basically, a relative URL is just slash slash and then you know your website just like that website dot com where, wherever the the path is to the upload okay so let me put that back to http uh, colon slash slash oh, just like that all right and what you want to do is come back here do you see where if you scroll down to where it says use relative URLs what we want to do is grab this first code here and this is a, an SQL all right so you want to right click copy this and you want to open up your PHP my admin in your cPanel so if you go down here to this PHP my admin you're gonna to come to a place like this all right first you want to make sure that you have your database selected over here and what we're going to be editing is this uh, post underscore post and notice the prefix the prefix is wpmax underscore all right <clears throat> so we're going to go click the sql like this and we're just going to post that little code now you're going to have to change something here do you see where it says wp post you want that to say wpmax for my particular database all right and then what i'm going to do is click go and what this is going to do it's going to go and take all the insecure content and make it secure for me where you know all the images jpeg jpg 
GIF, PNGs, all them, and it's going to make them secure. Now, the one more thing that you want to do, and I'm going to tell you why, you'll notice that these two codes are very similar, but this particular one has single quotes, this one has double quotes, all right? And so we're just going to take this next one right here, copy it, go back to our database, hit that SQL once again, load that up, paste that in there, and don't forget your prefix, WPMAX, for this particular site, yours will be different. Okay, so I'm going to click go, <clears throat> and voila, I changed that as well. Now, the next thing that we want to do is change the meta information, like for any iframes and so on and so forth. So we want to update WP Post Meta. So we're going to come in here, grab this, copy it. We're going to go back to our database, hit the SQL once again. And the great thing about doing this is it's doing it all at once. Make sure we modify the prefix to match our database, and we'll click Go. All right. All right, so that's your next step. This third step page, we're going to go down to our settings in general. And here is where we're going to put the HTTPS on our site. See right here where it says WordPress address URL? We just want to put our S in there, and we want to put an S in there. Okay? And then scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. The final thing that you can do is if you want your entire site to be HTTPS and make sure that they're forcing it, you can use this little code and put it in your HT Access file. So we're going to right click, copy this. We're going to go to our File Manager in our cPanel. And this particular one, we want to open up our HT Access file. Now, if you can't see your HT Access file, it's because that it's probably hidden. You want to go up here to Settings, and do you see where it says Show Hidden Dot Files? You want to do that, then that way it'll populate your hidden files that are on your server. Okay, so let's scroll down here to the HT Access file, and let's click on our Code Editor and let it load up. that pops up click edit okay and when that loads up you want to come up here towards the top and maybe on the next line create a line put that in just paste that in there just like that there's no editing needed of this code click save changes and now all of your uh, URLs will be you know HTTPS which that's the whole name of the game all right. For more references, you can see Moving to HTTPS on WordPress by Chris Coyer. Chris Coyer is a great web developer, and he's got a lot of good information on his site, so I encourage you to go over there if you want to get more detailed about it. I just wanted to cover the basics so that you could get up and running. Uh, this is Max with AIM Website Pro. Uh, the, the, let me go ahead and show you the... Um, the website we were working on here, this MaximusMcCullough.com. And make sure that we get our green light up here. And yep, it looks like we got our green light. It's forcing everything to use HTTPS. And if you scroll around on the site, you'll notice that it's everywhere. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you. Thanks. Bye.